hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you a new functionality uh, i've uh, implemented in mesh muffler in the wrapper and uh, the functionality i'm talking about is sy uh, symmetric control points so to use uh, symmetric control points uh, we ha you have to press shift or left shift hold left shift uh, down and click on uh, on the mesh and a symmetric control point uh, will be added on the other side of the mesh, right? So first, uh, let's test uh, the result without any control point. So we can see how we influence uh, the mesh, uh, the wrapping uh, of the mesh uh, with them, right? So let's pick a new morph target name and uh, let's uh, hit OK. So this is the mesh uh, without control points and uh, we can see uh, where the problems are, right? So we can fix this. Easily. We hold shift and we select control points on the target mesh and we go to the source mesh and we hold shift and select the same order, same uh, points, right? we have uh, the control points added on both sides uh, of the meshes you can see here and uh, let's uh, go back and uh, well, we need to add uh, some control points uh, to the wrist right so we will add two more here and we will go to the source mesh and add again two more here kind of like this right you don't have to be precise but uh, you have to pick uh, the right point basically right so let's test it out uh, let me check again the chin I remember is yeah well, we can fix this so we will uh, pick control points uh, symmetric right and same here I think this is it. Uh, let's press OK. OK, the morph target has been created and uh, let's check it out. So as you can see, we have already uh, everything in place. Uh, everything uh, works. Uh, Currently, we have the chin as well fixed, wrist, fingers, and uh, if uh, you have some artifacts, sometimes with some meshes, this happens, like this spike here, you can use a uh, smooth tool and just move a little bit this area, fix it, right? And, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, uh, makes uh, the mesh uh, pretty cool and uh, if you see this flicker just restart the engine I don't know sometimes it happens uh, I'm investigating it uh, to see why this flicker happens from time to time and another thing in wrapper uh, the default settings have changed uh, these are the default one and uh, from what I've tested this work the best right the best with uh, all uh, meshes in general you still have to fine-tune them don't take them as granted you have to fine-tune them to meet your requirements right so i further improved a little bit the wrapping algorithm so we have better results so better precision and uh, yeah, uh, this update is available right now on meshmorpher.com. It will be available on uh, the Marketplace uh, website, but uh, on the Marketplace the updates uh, take uh, a lot longer to to be pushed. So if you purchased uh, on the Marketplace, just wait for it, right? Uh, 
that's it. So for this video, uh, I think we uh, settled everything and uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video, don't, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you around. Bye.